let me just share my screen here quickly. Let me do that. All right. Let me just adjust my screen a bit. Everyone can see what I'm looking at here. So yes, XHV is one that we definitely were looking at on uh, at DTM as well as MTT. MTT also being um, more medium term medium uh, trading, which is more on the twelve hour time frame, medium term um, reports there as well. But DTM especially looking at the four hour. So four hours that's the one we look at um, DTM getting levels for that. But looking at this now on the weekly for X, uh, for XHV Haven uh, Protocol as it's called. Uh, we're looking at a lot of trend levels here. We're looking at historical levels. Now, the thing with DTM, what we always look at, we follow a working strategy. And that, that's the most important thing with DTM, what me and Corey follows. And I mean, you can see here, we're looking at oscillators. We're looking at support and resistance, trend identifiers. We're looking at historical evidence and also moving averages. So it's definitely, um, you know, a working strategy follows. Now, Morris did show a little bit about the, the, the roadmap in the beginning of the presentation. I just want to go back to that here on Bitcoin Tav um, on the roadmap. And as you can see in 2020 or even 20, 2019, there was a Trinsic product. Now, that over, went over to 2020. And then in 2021, you can see the UTC actually launched there together with DTM short on its heels. Uh, what's the difference that happened in between here is that is where the DTM was fine-tuned. Is where we found that working strategy, myself and Corey, and we based it upon what our experiences in the market was. Now, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but I was um, also in the crime scene or, you know, in the forensic section um, and or sector before, and there's a lot of things they teach you. They are being systematic and finding the right principles, correct principles like control, reserve, record, reconstruct all those things. And we took a lot of that and binded it to this working strategy that we now have. And then that's how we start to find these breakouts by using this working strategy. Um, you know, by defining, by planning, collecting, and reviewing all this data to do that. So a DTM. Going back to Haven Protocol, we always look at consistent profit. We've been profitable now for some time in the past year where people say the market was down. Um, social media was saying there was no way anyone could trade. We were making consistent profit because we're keeping it simple and we're sticking to the rules. Now, back to Haven Protocol, is this what exactly what we're doing here? I have trend lines following you on the weekly. Looking at these trend lines, you can see right here at the bottom already at 0 0.103764. That is a definite bottom that it's basically find there as well as this trend line showing us this um, downwards triangle showing us right there bouncing going back up and breaking all these trend lines now also the oscillators that we follow is an indicator called the detonator that we have at dtm and we follow that we can see a detonator c here you can see all the action that happened here in the past and then basically flatlined a bit and if we zoom in more into this indicator if i open it up more you can see we're starting to get out of it again like the year we are crossing over again, going over to zero. So a lot of good things happening on, on the zoomed out view um, on the weekly. And you can see also still moving up here. So a very significant spike already going up here. And this is what me and Corey look at. When we zoom out, we look at this type of pattern it's forming. And then we know, okay, time to zoom in. So if you go to 12 hour now, and I'm just going to reset it back to 12 hour um, and take it up a bit, you can see now that we are above all these trend levels. We broke through here, starting to move sideways, but we are in a bullish type of upwards movement. And this gives us already now an opportunity with levels that I have. Now, like I said, we're following historical evidence, moving averages, you know, support resistance levels, like these orange ones are weekly ones. I can already see with my levels right here, from here where the trend currently is, that we can significantly move up from here, say, to that level already, looking at 586%. And this is on a 12-hour time frame, historical. I mean, 12-hour time frame. And that is the levels that we can now, in between, say, this one and that one, that we can place and people can take advantage of that. Now, we can also do the following. We can do now smaller trend lines and, may say, pull it like that. And that gives us even more confidence to know, should we break this trend line? 
we definitely can and climb on top of this historical projection level there. We that will be uh, again a more bullish outbreak. Now, even going zooming in further on the four hour, and this is what we usually do at day trade masters. And people always say, oh, uh, Nico, are you and Corey the day trade? No, you are the day trade masters with us in the product because we're taking advantage of this. Now, even with this being up to 586%, we can now use these levels even on a four hour and do a day trade. And these levels for day trading, what we then do, we can start putting it up here and we can even go to 0.824415. And from here to there, we're already looking even at, say, another 249. You can even go to this level here, which is a 50 or 47% and zoom in and get more levels there by using Fibonacci retracements or all the tools that we use to find these levels, what we do. Because for example, magic. We had magic here um, for some time, which did this wonderful little move up here to target point six or target point five even. It did that spike here. And you can see the levels that we put out then for DTM and what we use that you can take and use um, in your own education, not financial advice, your own education or your own, own charts. And 